So as most of you probably don't know, I study science at university, biomedical science in fact. The reason I say you don't know this is because I hardly ever mention it in my videos. So I don't expect you to know it because it's got nothing to do with theatre and everyday life, so... Actually, wait, it does have quite a bit to do with everyday life because I go to uni every day. That was a bit confusing. Anyway... So I study biomedical sciences at uni and I'm currently in my third year, so I'm expected to graduate in about three or four months, which is actually very scary. And being a biomedic student means that you get to do a lot of different kind of lab practicals about different things that has to do with the body. I remember last year one of my modules was physiology, so we had to do a lot of things that had to do with like heart and you know, pulses and veins and stuff, which was quite interesting. The year before that I did genetics, so I had to do a lot of kind of genetics labs, which was also quite fun. But I don't think any of the labs that I've had to do so far in the past two and a half years have been quite as fun as the one that I had to do yesterday. Yesterday was basically all about blood. We do a module called cell pathology, which is basically learning about how different diseases work in the body and what organs are infected and stuff. And yesterday, for the first time in quite a long while, I actually really, really enjoyed the practical slash lab thing that we had to do for it. I think one of the reasons is that I got to take my own blood, which I personally thought was very, very cool. It was actually a bit weird, if you think about it. You can see my finger here, it's in the plaster. Basically, we had to take a bit of blood from our finger, from our fingertip, literally like just a drop of it really, just a little tiny bit, and put it on a slide and then observe it under the microscope. But we had to do all this ourselves, and um, that meant that we had to like actually put the needle in the finger by ourselves. The thing is though, you couldn't really see the needle because the needle was kind of in like a little thing so you couldn't actually see the big, like shiny, scary needle thing. To be fair, I'm not even scared of needles. I, I know a lot of people have like a massive fear of needles. I don't mind them. I'm not saying that I enjoy just randomly putting needles in my skin because that would be weird. But I'm not necessarily bothered by them either. I mean, if I have to do something with needles, I don't really mind. So yeah, basically we just had to put the needle in our finger and then the blood came out and then we had to put the blood on the thing, the slide, and then we just looked at the blood, our blood, under the microscope. The assistant girl who was like helping, helping us with the, with the lab must have felt quite worried about me at first, I think, because I must have, I think I looked really quite freaked out at first when, when I was told exactly what I had to do. I'm sure I spent about five seconds just like looking at her like, what, what, really? I'm going to have to do that myself? But then I found it very, very cool, so I just like followed her instructions and stuff, and yeah, I did it. I realise that this might mean nothing to you and you probably think, oh, this is so lame, why are you even excited about this? But I found it exciting. I mean, this is the course that I study, so I do quite like these kind of things. Strangely enough, my finger didn't actually hurt yesterday at all when I, you know, put the needle in it. But it's really, really hurting right now. I don't know why. I'm quite scared to open this and look what's under it, to be honest, because I feel like I might have done something wrong, maybe. I, I have no idea. It was very clean, though. It wasn't like we just, like, put the needle in there. We had to, like, wash it first, and we had to, like, follow, like, good instructions. We didn't just, like, randomly just cut our fingers. That would have been not good. Something else that we had to do in the practical yesterday was take blood from a fake arm. Now this fake arm looked like an actual real arm though. It was like a real life sized um, arm like of a, of a man with veins and, and muscles and everything. The only scary thing was that it was, you know, all, all you could see on the table was just an arm because it wasn't attached to anything. But the arm just was literally like an actual arm. And the arm had blood in it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't actual blood, but it had something that looked like blood inside it, in the veins. So you pretty much felt that you were actually like taking blood from a real person. And that was quite challenging. Like, I didn't I didn't find that easy at all. We all only had one chance to, to work on it as well, so that made it a bit scarier, because obviously, you know, at the end of the day, I was doing this, doing the whole thing practical to get good grades and good marks. And if I didn't manage to get enough blood out of the arm, I wouldn't have got a good mark. And as it happened, I didn't. For some really weird reason, I followed everything that the girl was telling me to do. I mean, literally, I did everything that she said. But I think I might have chosen the wrong vein or something, uh, because no matter how hard I tried, only just a tiny little bit of blood came out. And I was like, oh, why isn't more coming out? And even the assistant lady herself, she, she tried to help me, because she was quite confused. She was like, why isn't more coming out? And she tried herself, and she couldn't get any more to come out either. It was really, really frustrating, because the guy that went before me managed to get loads of blood out, and my friend who went after me got quite a lot out as well, and I was like the only one. So yeah, it was quite annoying. But the whole process itself was so, so cool. I, I loved it. I mean, I want to do it again. Literally, I was like contemplating to like buy that arm <laughs> from my lab and see if I can... I don't know, just have it at home and just work on it every day and get better. I just thought it was so cool because I actually felt like some kind of a doctor or something. Because you had to do the whole thing as if you were an actual doctor and as if that arm was an actual 
person so you had to make sure that everything was in order and everything was done correctly i remember i felt very very nervous like literally very nervous before i started doing it and the nerves weren't because of my grade or my mark the nerves were because i was actually genuinely scared about the fact that i was about to put a needle inside a random person's arm which wasn't really random because it wasn't an actual person's arm but you know what i mean so yeah i i really enjoyed my practical yesterday after a very long time usually i just hate practicals i don't really enjoy working in labs we've got labs like every other week and like i said each of them are different on a different subject so about a different thing but yesterday's was just very different and really really fun i didn't even want to leave so yeah I'm, i think i'm gonna try and um maybe take this off because it really hurts and i'm really really curious to see why it's hurting so much i don't know if you can see it or not but it's all like you know when you've had your finger in a plaster for a long time and then it looks all white like the earth it really hurts though uh, i don't know what's happened to it on a completely unrelated note do you like my new shoes they're billy elliot themed um i don't know if you've seen posters of billy elliot the musical but if you look on like google images just like search billy elliot the musical you'll see that the, like, the main the three main colors of the of the show are basically red white and black the billy elliot logo is basically written in red and then it's like on a white poster obviously so yeah i was just, like messing about on um the converse the converse web website obviously these are converses um the other day and I, you know I, just because i was bored i didn't plan on buying them or anything and then i came up with these and i was like oh my god these are beautiful i actually want them and so I, I was stuck there for about 10 minutes trying to decide whether or not you know i could justify paying quite a lot of money for shoes that are, aren't even really i don't know but in the end i just decided to buy them and um i was still a bit apprehensive about it but as soon as i got them the other day and i looked for them and i touched them i was like these are actually they, these are amazing these look awesome and so now i think even though they were quite expensive i'm quite happy that i bought them i don't know if you can see it or not but it says solidarity at the back because solidarity is my favorite scene in the whole show and i think it's my favorite song as well i just absolutely love it the only problem with these shoes is that i don't really know if i'm gonna wear them or not i'm, I'm too scared to wear them because i don't want to ruin them but obviously i will at some point probably tomorrow actually because i'm seeing billy elliott again it's gonna be my last time seeing my favorite mrs wilkinson sad times but yeah, that's about it. Um, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.